Welcome to the Silborn Show. We are here at the Jamaican High Commission where we will be speaking to some special guests regarding the Zerlik Dialysis Centre. Zerlik Dialysis Centre is a newly licensed dialysis service provider in Jamaica, Montego Bay. The centre has been operational since July 2016. Zerlich is situated in a new purpose-built, modern, state-of-the-art medical complex, which offers a wide range of medical services, making it ideal as a medical one-stop facility for overseas visitors. Welcome to the show. Our first guest is going to be Andre Nelson, the brainchild behind the dialysis centre. My name is Andre Nelson and I'm also one of the co-founders co of um, Zerlich. Uh, my passion came about when we were doing a feasibility study and we started looking into the services um, ready, ready, readily available in Jamaica. And we discovered that people are actually dying um, you know, because there weren't enough services there. And it was an epidemic that was increasing um, year, on, year on year. And as you're aware, um, diabetes, one of the main contribu contributory factors, um, it's, we're finding that more in younger people now. So more and more people are suffering with this. And as a result, you know, it lead, can lead to CKD. And, you know, there seems to be a lot more patients year on year. So um, having worked in the IT industry a number of years, um, you know, you get to a point where um, you felt like you haven't done anything with your life really. And, you know, this project came about and I, it's just, you know, if, we, if you can do something and change someone, you know, change one person's life, then, you know, it's a, you've achieved some kind of purpose. So that was my main aim, you know, m well, my inspiring inspiration behind the project, you know, changing, you know, saving someone's life, changing, you know, lives of someone and their family. So we've come across lots of, um, when we started the project, we, it's not as if we had all the money to start it. We started off and, um, you know, we work and I'm continually working in the UK and funding the project. So the project's not, I mean, we've been established now about seven months. Um, due to the nature of the business, it's uh, slowly growing, um, which is why we're having the launch now to raise the awareness both in the UK, the diaspora community, and we'll be having a launch on um, January um, the 26th. And we're hoping by that, you know, we can um, raise the profile and let people know that the services are there. Um, you know, we can't, we, you know, the focus is, yes, medical tour tourism as one, but we're also doing a lot for the locals at the moment. We offer the most competitive prices. We're also, we've always got um, uh, package deals and specials um, that we're doing, um, you know, and because we're completely independent, there's no, you know, we can do this. Um, so, you know, we're trying to give back to Jamaica and um, this launch has been great. We've had overwhelming support. Um, could never have imagined a small project like this getting this much support, but you know, thanks for everyone. Join me and give a well welcome to Mr. Seth Ramakan, Jamaica's High Commissioner. The, this Dallas Centre will be of significant benefit to Jamaica and Jamaicans. The, uh, service of dialysis is one that is very critical to the medical services that are offered and uh, uh, there has been a shortage in the, um, the, the quantity of the service and to some extent the quality of the service and uh, this is uh, rated as a world-class dialysis center that offers a level of service um, uh, above and beyond uh, you know where the service is now and uh, the situation of you know sometimes overcrowded uh, wait list uh, of persons who are seeking this service is one that we have been working at um, trying to address. Uh, the Zerlik uh, 
Dallas the Center, therefore, uh, provides um, you know very needed um, service, and we believe that it is very commendable that um, to young members of the Jamaican UK diaspora, uh, you know, have really seen the need for this. Uh, and of course, it's all gave birth because of the work of JAMPRO, the Jamaican uh, Promotions um, Agency, uh, which uh, through uh, Mr. Uh, Lawrence Jones um, has really, you know, presented the, the case and the uh, opportunity for investment in the field of medicine, in the, in the area of medical services um, in Jamaica. Jamaica is very well known for its um, medical services in a number of areas. We are um, on par and in many cases ahead of uh, the service as it is offered in many other places um, across the globe. In fact, Jamaica has been um, rated as uh, the second um, most uh, desired, uh, you know, place for medical tourism. And for that reason, uh, we have persons who access our medical services, not only locally, but internationally. Uh, persons who come to Jamaica and utilize the medical services there for several reasons. Um, for the reason that the quality of the service is, is at a very high standard. Uh, secondly, because the cost of the service is much lower than it is in many other uh, places uh, in the developed world. And uh, thirdly, because of the um, fact that there are many uh, visitors, both from the diaspora and other uh, visitors, who come to Jamaica and find it a place where they um, feel comfortable, you know, uh, utilizing the medical services there. So this is an extraordinary benefit and we, we certainly look forward to this service uh, growing um, not only with the Zerlik Center but with many others that uh, are to come. Projects like this uh, falls in line with the kind of response that we are anticipating because of the promotional work that is being done for investments in Jamaica. Um, and uh, what it, it shows is that um, our uh, expectations are on target, they're, they're quite right, that the Jamaican diaspora um, is certainly a, a major resource for Jamaica's development that the diaspora um, is certainly uh, not only in terms of remittances that you know, has been commonly known to be the, the, one of the major services that, the, that is offered to Jamaica, but in terms of investment, in terms of professional services, there are many persons um, who are leaders within the developed world that are of Jamaican uh, descent um, and are in very key places. Uh, so we believe in diaspora entrepreneurship. We believe in diaspora um, uh, as, uh, functioning as, uh, as ambassadors, diasporans serving as ambassadors. And we believe that there is a great uh, partnership that uh, continues to exist between Jamaica and its diaspora. So engaging the diaspora for us is a very major um, undertaking that Jamaica is pursuing. And uh, we, we believe that, in fact, the, the, the quality of the Jamaican diaspora is such that it is sufficient <laughs> for partnering with Jamaica and for achieving our objective to become a developed country by the year 2030 so that Jamaica will be a place of choice to live, work, raise families and do business. And that's what we're looking for. Give a warm welcome to Darren Ferguson. My name is Darren Ferguson. I'm from Milton Keynes. I'm a social media editor. Um, basically, I was born 20 February 1981. 
I suffered from, I was diagnosed, excuse me, with chronic kidney failure. Spent most of my childhood in Great Ormond Street Hospital. Um, and had, as you know, as you said, excuse me, number of transplants. My heart stopped beating three times when I was six. So they pretty much thought that I was dead and gone by the time I was seven. Or if not, I'd pretty much be a dwarf. Um, yes, I've had five transplants. My last one was five years ago from a live donor. And I'm really hoping this is my last one. <laughs> Presentation was absolutely amazing absolutely life-changing if you really understand about chronic kidney failure and how it can impact and change somebody's life. I really was very impressed and just know that it's going to change many people's lives. It's going to be life-changing for so many people. Uh, myself, I wanted to go to Jamaica for my honeymoon, but I couldn't because dialysis was just far too expensive. It was more than the actual holiday itself, so we decided not to go. But with this company, I can see that not only is it going to help the people of Jamaica, but it's also going to help people travel, um, tourists, and it's also going to give the people of Jamaica a new sense of life, a new sense of being, you know, able to live out their dreams and ambitions now that they have this amazing company giving them the treatment that they need. We are about to take a short break, after which we will be hearing from some more special guests. See you soon. Hey guys, I was talking with a group of leaders the other day and we were talking about being uncomfortable in a comfortable situation. Uh, and that's key, that's key for your life because if you are comfortable in your comfort zone, that is actually your broke zone. So you've got to make sure that you pay attention to the environment that you're in at all times and ask yourself, am I comfortable with this situation? And if you are, that typically means that you're going with the flow. So I want you to remember at all times, don't go with the flow. Okay? Go with what it is that God has placed in your heart for you to do. All right? Take care, guys. My name is Theo Clark and I'm National BME Marketing Manager for NHS Blood and Transplants. In a nutshell, that means my job is, is basically to get more members of the black and the Asian communities donating blood, organ and bone marrow. Uh, we've got a massive deficit in terms of the amount of people uh, on the registers, on the organ and the bone marrow and the blood registers, and it's important that we redress the balance and get more people coming forward. I thought it was a really interesting presentation today. I thought it was uh, inspiring to hear how so many people were enthused about what was going on. Uh, for me, it's a, it's a new area in terms of, I, di I didn't know that health tour tourism in terms of kidney dialysis actually existed. So it, for me, it's been really, really interesting to, to see what's out there and to, to hear about how it can widen the horizons of dialysis patients. I think anything which raises awareness of uh, uh, kidney conditions of conditions which lead to, to kidney problems such as hypertension or diabetes is a really really good thing so uh, the more we can get people thinking about it and talking about it the better uh, for me personally in terms of NHS blood and transplant if we can get people who um, are based within Britain talking about it even from the context of talking originally about Jamaica again it's a really really good thing this is an important issue and it's a, it's a health inequality that we need people to work on solving and only they can solve it so I think to, to raise this discussion level is incredibly important. We are now joined by Lawrence Jones. Um, I'm Lawrence Jones, I'm the European Regional Manager for Jamaica Promotions Corporation uh, also known as JAMPRO and JAMPRO is the Government of Jamaica Trade and Investment Promotional Agency. I'm also the Commercial Attaché here at the Jamaican High Commission. Yeah. Um, my role here is primarily to identify and facilitate foreign direct investment from Europe into Jamaica. The other hat I wear is to facilitate Jamaican goods and services being exported 
to Europe. So <clears throat> from an investment standpoint, we bring in investments such as uh, shipping lines, um, logistics companies, hotel brands, agricultural investments, business process outsourcing investments and so on. From the trade side of it, we export primarily um, fresh produce, processed foods, and a lot more recently, um, call center and business process outsourcing services to Europe. You know, I'm very pleased to, to say that um, JamPro was with this pretty much from the beginning. Uh, in 2012, during the London Olympics, we had a Jamaica house here at the O2. And at the, at the Jamaica House, we held uh, a number of investment promotional events, one of which was focused at the diaspora. Uh, Andre Nelson and Dainty Powell attended that event and met with me after and raised the idea of setting up a dialysis center. Um, shortly after that, they met with me here at the High Commission. We helped to work with them on the business plan, the feasibility, providing them, and when I say it's JamPro, providing them with data and information to populate the business plan and to ascertain whether or not the business is profitable. Um, <coughs> we did that exercise. We found that there was a significant demand for the service, and we found that um, there was a sufficient profit margin in it to make this successful. And so since that time, <coughs> We have uh, we've engaged um, Andre and Dainty and my colleagues at JamPro in Jamaica, Carol Straw in Kingston and Conrad Robinson in Montego Bay, have been working very closely with them to help identify the, the facilities they are in now, and so they're at G-West, and to help with the regulatory aspects, uh, so obtaining uh, approvals from the Ministry of Health in order to operate this facility. So <coughs> as uh, Andre and Dainty alluded to in their presentations earlier, JamPro has held their hands through this process. Um, we have played a role, but it is not the only role. We have to acknowledge that Andre and da Dainty have done a phenomenal job. They are two wonderful people who are young, good-looking, educated, and they are uh, an example for future investment out of the Jamaican diaspora. Okay, my name is Dainty Powell and I'm one of the CEO for Zerlish International Dialysis Centre. First, the, the, um, the idea came from being working in NHS as a dialysis nurse and um, myself and my partner Andre, we um, thought about um, doing giving back something to Jamaica and to assess the area to see the level um, of um, people living with CKD chronic kidney disease and basically what we can do for these people and we had um, I myself had this passion and we sh both shared a passion to um, to bring this service not just to provide um, um, like, a, like, a, like a business. We wanted to make sure we touched the life of Jamaicans out there and to provide a service in the best way, not just the typical way, but the best, give it the best quality care, um, CKD to um, people living in Jamaica. International as well for people who like to travel on holidays. Um, we would like to provide a service where they can feel safe and comfortable and, um, and they can always come back for holiday all the time. It's been very difficult um, between myself and Andre because setting up a healthcare service has got a lot of protocols, a lot of um, political issues. You um, go into another country, which is Jamaica originally, um, we are like British Jamaicans and we go in there, you can't just um, set up a healthcare service, you have to abide by the policies and guidelines. And again, even though Jamaica may be classified as a third world, but they have a policy and standard that has to be met. And we have met that. And also, as Andre, um, we discussed that financially it has been very difficult, but we face our commitment. We work together as a team and try to make it the best. And um, yes, there's a lot of our challenges, but the most important thing is we're reaching this stage and we're quite pleased. My main aim and objective for the center is not just the start off, um, I would like to have a standard, and a standard that is set for Zerlish. 
a standard that must be maintained. Um, it's not just for the clinical aspect you're going for treatment, but each time we, you know you are reassessed and you make sure that we want to do better. We're going to improve in these areas. So when people come for their treatment, they must be happy. They must feel safe. You don't want it to say, okay, um, you, you started off and then later on. Um, this ought to be negative. We want to make sure everything must be at a high standard. And that is my main aim, to continue to maintain and give Zerlish, bring out the best, give the best. Thank you for watching The Silvorn Show. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. The details should be on the screen now. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye. Hi, thanks for watching our video. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and share and like, and don't forget to comment, but first subscribe. I have been on The Silborn Show. Please subscribe to the channel.